So next window is a hanging window technique. So this hanging window uh, here, this equation is came from uh, raised cosine window equation. So in that equation, substitute alpha is equal to 0 0.5. You get a hanging window. Okay, WH. So you have to denote hanging window as HN, window as W. WH of N is equal to substitute alpha is equal to 0 0.5 in raised cosine window equation. 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5 cos 2 pi n by n minus 1. Here the limits are minus n minus 1 by 2 to n minus 1 by 2. Okay. So now if you find out the Fourier transform. Fourier transform of Hanning window. You can get 0 0.5 sin omega n by 2 by sin omega plus 0 0.25 into sin omega n by 2 minus pi n by n minus 1 by sin omega by 2 minus pi by n minus 1. So how to get this equation? So this equation, uh, you have to follow the steps in raised cosine window, raised cosine window procedure. Okay. So now this is a W H N of e power j omega. This is a Hanning window. Now you have to have multiply Hanning window with impulse response. Okay. So now you can get a HRN of e power j omega. This is the Fourier spectrum of Fourier transform of HR of e power H, H W H N of e power j omega is like this. Okay. Here the main lobe, the width of main lobe is 8 pi by n. This is 8 pi by n. Here, the magnitude response, this is the uh, window in Fourier spectrum of window in dB, in decibels. Okay. So, here, this is a minus 50. This, the attenuation which came to 31 dB here. So, this 31 dB, that means there is less number of ripples in pass band and stop band compared to rectangular window. So, here there are, there are less number of ripples. Okay. And this is a twice that of rectangular window. Hanning window is twice that of rectangular window. In the rectangular window, the value is the width of the main lobe is 4 pi by n and here the hanging window is 8 pi by n the width is twice so this is for n is equal to 25 so for n is equal to 25 this is 0 and these are 12 and these are 12 total n is equal to 24 okay this is the hanging window technique okay so if you consider for n is equal to 51 also for that here is 24 here is 24 and middle one is 0. Total n is equal to 51. Sorry. 25, 25 and 1. 51. <coughs> now next window is Hamming window technique. So for Hamming window technique, you have to substitute alpha is equal to 0 0.54. 0 0.54 in raised cosine window equation. So for that you can get WH of N. So here for Hamming window you have to represent it as H. For Hanning, H A M M I N G. For Hanning window you have to represent as W H N. Okay. So this is a Hamming window, right? So for Hamming window you have to represent only H. Okay. After substitution alpha is equal to 0 0.4. So, you can get the equation 0 0.54 plus 0 0.46 cos 2 pi n by n minus 1. Here the n limits are in between minus n minus 1 by 2 to n minus 1 by 2. Okay. So, this is the window, Hanning window. Okay. Now, the Fourier transform, the Fourier transform of WH of n is this one. 0 0.54 and sin omega n by 2 sin omega by 2. And the procedure for finding the Fourier transform of WH of e power uh, j omega, I already told in uh, raised cosine window. So you have to see how to calculate WH of WH of e power j omega. 
okay so after fourier transform you can get wh of e power j omega now so this is the hamming hamming window sequence hamming window wh of n this is wh of n this is wh of n okay now in order to get a finite response you have to multiply wh of n with okay so this wh of n you can multiply with uh, hk of e power j omega now you can get h of h of n okay so that is what that is the finite impulse response so in order to get the finite impulse response we have we are using uh, we are using windowing techniques okay so the fourier transform of hamming window is this one okay see so this is the frequency response normalized frequency response of window and here the main lobe is 8 pi by n k and the side lobe you see these two are side lobes side lobes this is also a side lobe and the main lobe is 8 pi by n into k so compared to hanning window here there is some improvement in side lobe there are some less number of oscillations when compared to hanning window so here uh, the magnitude uh, the phase resp uh, response which is wh of e power j omega in db which is minus 41 41 times reduces the response that means what so compared to hanning window compared to hanning window here the frequency response uh, the number of oscillations are reduced in both pass band and stop band in hanning window okay next window technique is blackman window technique so the blackman window which is represented as wb of n this is a equation of a blackman window 0.42 plus 0.5 cos 2 pi n by n minus 1 plus 0.08 cos 4 pi n by n minus 1 okay so now we have to take capital n is equal to 25 here small n limits are in between n limits are in between minus n minus 1 by 2 to n minus 1 by 2 okay so these are the limits of small n and here take capital n is equal to 25 okay so wb of n this is the blackman window blackman window okay so now here the frequency response so after fourier transform of wb of n you can get mod of wb of e power j omega c this is the response free normalized frequency response of blackman window here the main lobe is increased from 12 pi by n for hamming for hamming window it will be 8 pi by n and here the main lobe width is increased to 12 pi by n so he, when compared to hamming and hanning there are less number of oscillations that means there is no oscillations in pass band and stop band and here when compared to hanning and hamming window it will be uh, 16 db improvement that means so it will be uh, reduced to minus 57 db and here is a 16 db improvement in hamming and hanning window so in side lobes uh, there is no oscillations here also there is no oscillations here Uh, this is 15, and uh, the peak side lobe, the peak side lobe level, which is down to minus 57 dB. So this is the uh, mag magnitude response in decibels.